guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a tiny bit different to what I've done so far. I'm going to be doing the eating only blue food for 24 hours challenge. So I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do this challenge where they pick a colour and then they only eat foods that come in that colour for 24 hours and I felt it was only fitting to start with blue. However, blue appears to be one of the hardest colours to do because blue is not a naturally occurring colour except in blueberries. <laughs> I've done a bit of the shopping already, uh, I will show you the footage from that in just a second. But between both IGA and Spudshed, I couldn't get all the ingredients that I needed and there is not a lot of blue items so I'm going to have to do a bit of a Coles trip shortly. Before we go to Coles I'm going to have my breakfast which I bought last night. I was going to cook pancakes but I spent way too long doing my makeup and it's borderline lunchtime now. So breakfast this morning is this Swedish style probiotic drink. Uh, I had a laugh when I got this because it says uh, film jolk on the front there and I was like oh you are what you eat because I film things and I'm a joke. Let's just hope you know that this is actually blue otherwise we're intermittent fasting today and there's no breakfast for me. <laughs> oh it's not bad it's on the blue side it's kind of like muted purple but there it's blue but it's a pale blue. It's fizzy. What is? That tastes fizzy. So I'm gonna finish my breakfast and then we're gonna head to Coles and get those last few items that I need. I got that on my carpet. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoy. So one more thing I wanted to do before I leave to go to Coles is just to make up the jelly that I got for today. Uh, need this to set so I can have it as a snack later. So we're just gonna make that before we go. Alrighty, so we are about to head to Spud Shed. I feel like all I'm gonna eat for all three meals is gonna be blueberries. Um, but we will we'll see what other options we have. But you can't get the pink one, you gotta get the blue one. There is no blue one. Oh my god, we're at the blueberries. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Alright, so we got the blueberries. Perfect. Yes. So technically I could have any meat, right? If I, if I don't cook it, it's all blue. So I was looking for the blue corn chips that I know exist, but second shop and I reckon they're not going to have it again. Okay, but this, but blue. Eh? Eh? Don't Google it. No. Now they're just teasing me. I can get this one. That. Where are the Tide Pods? <laughs> Do you ever walk past something like this in the shops, close it and just think, man, I'm a hero. That's so sad. Yeah, but they're all gone. True. They found loving homes. <laughs> no, there's a leak in the trolley. <laughs> Babe, I don't care at all what you say. I love you more. You're corny as heck. <laughs> Fuck it, says so sliced cucumbers. It's still pickles. Babe, <laughs> I'm in a bit of a pickle with this challenge. I'm nuts about you. Wanna see me cut shapes? <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> I'm laughing at the thought. Somebody just said that it's a mission to deal with all my puns. I will not go. Turn the lights off. Curry me home. Tasty nuts. That's not a pun. <laughs> <laughs> so it is 10.40 p.m. and we have finally finished all the shopping. Uh, I, turns out I am going to have to do another shopping trip tomorrow to Coles. Mm. Alrighty, so I am at Coles and I have got my secret ingredient. And I was hoping to find the blue corn tortilla chips, but... Apparently this shop's going to let me down as well. That is three out of three that do not have it. Um, I might go to Woolworths, but probably not. But at this stage, I'm happy with what I got, and it's time to go back home and have lunch. Alrighty, so I am all finished shopping, and here is our haul. For the drinks, uh, since water isn't blue, I have got Powerade to keep me hydrated. Uh, mother sugar free which I'm hoping is actually blue on the inside. You've already seen our breakfast today which was the Swedish probiotic drink. For snacks I have 
blue clouds and a blueberry yogurt. Uh, I also plan to top that with maybe some fresh blueberries. I also have jelly and I was hoping for the blue corn tortilla chips and blue cheese but might just have to snack on blue cheese by itself. Uh, as for dinner, this is where it gets interesting. I will be having pasta but I will not be cheating and adding blue food dye. What I'll be doing is boiling down the red cabbage and what that does is creates a purple liquid which when you add some bicarbonate soda to it turns blue. And then I will be soaking the pasta in that, letting it absorb the colour and making a blue cheese sauce. For breakfast tomorrow I am going to make blueberry pancakes so they will take on the natural colour of the blueberries and become blue. Uh, I was going to make blue waffles just for the joke but I don't have a waffle maker and I'm not buying one just for the just for the sake of that joke. So it is lunchtime, which means yogurt and blueberries time. So I've got the blueberry chibani yogurt, which I have already mushed in a lot more blueberries into because it wasn't looking very blue. It was kind of pinky purpley. And I'm just gonna top it with a couple more. Um, the worst part about this is that I don't find blueberries very flavorful and I hate yogurt. There's something about that texture that just puts me off um, but that's what you get when you go to three different stores and none of them have blue corn tortilla chips so uh, this is lunch <laughs> I don't get how people can eat this every day though it's like am I drinking am I eating I'm putting it there and I don't chew I just swallow but it's food so my boyfriend has just finished work so I'm gonna go pick him up and we are gonna pop over to Zingfu Tang which is a boba slash bubble tea style restaurant that has just opened up in the city. Uh, I hear there's been like lines down the street waiting for this so I'm hoping that's not the case right now because they have a blue drink which I'm really excited to try and no better day to do so. So I will check back in when we're there. <laughs> So we got our blue drink and it is very glittery. Can you see it? Interested in what these balls are, whether I can like pop them or whether they're solid jelly. Shall I give it a stab? I can't catch them, we'll do it in the car. Still can't stab. We're going fishing. Okay, it's just solid jelly. But it's purple so I'm not allowed to eat it. <laughs> I have blue jelly at home, I'll wait. You want to suck my purple balls? <laughs> Missing out. Now, now I'm gonna go home and eat some jelly because I'm sad that I can't eat these purple balls. I'll eat your purple balls. <laughs> so here we have our cabbage and I am about to start preparing the spaghetti for dinner. While I prep this, I am going to have my Powerade because the bubble tea that I just had was basically just blue Sprite and it wasn't very tasty. Beautiful. Now we wait. So it's been 20 minutes and our cabbage has finished boiling. I've just poured it into the strainer here. So we're almost there. The next step here is to boil and reduce down the cabbage liquid. But I just read that this can take up to 75 minutes. And I am already tired. So it is time for <coughs> another snack, drink. Pray that this is blue. Wow, that's not blue, so I can't have it. God, I hate this challenge. So I've been working on this pasta now, not even the pasta, just the food coloring for the pasta for at least like an hour and a half. Um, it's finally dark outside and I am so tired because I couldn't drink my mother. So it is sugar rush time. Um, these are the blueberry clouds, like God tier of candy, by the way. I um, actually got these as part of a Secret Santa gift. So they got me four different flavors of like absolute vodka, just like the little bottles, the blue clouds and some blue wrapped Hershey's Kisses. And it came with a card that said, I heard you like blue. So it was just like $20 work Secret Santa and they nailed it. And I still don't know who it was. Let me know in the comments down below, what's the worst Secret Santa present you've received? Like literally write it in the comments right now. Um, because the pasta is gonna take so long anyway. One eternity later. I can hear the water from that cabbage boiling over. It's just sizzling. Um, so this is going great. 
All right, so our cabbage water has been reduced. So right now we have a really red slash purpley deep color. So we're gonna add it in a tiny bit of bicarb soda and this liquid right here is magically gonna turn blue. Look at the bubbles. And see it's starting to turn blue where that baking soda fell on the top. And so there we have the finished result. All of our purple water is now blue. So we are gonna go soak our pasta in this water and it will take to the color and we will have naturally dyed blue pasta for dinner. Currently looks amazing, that is such a deep blue. Um, I'm gonna go work on the blue cheese pasta sauce and finally get some food in my belly. Also, here's Pandora. <laughs> so our pasta is done and ignore the color that it looks here because my kitchen has very orange lights. I'm working on the blue cheese sauce. I have melted butter in this pot and stirred the pasta through to coat. Oh my gosh, it looks so purple on camera, I swear it's blue. Um, and now I'm going to start adding in our blue cheese, which is not only blue outside, has all those veins of mold through it. So the pasta has now turned back to being purple. I'm guessing because the cheese has a different pH balance. This is what the finished product looks like. Uh, this is my boyfriend's dinner and I had to dye mine more to make it blue again. So here is my dinner. I feel like a child that like won't eat any other color besides blue. Actually, it's quite nice. Do you try mine? No, I'm not allowed. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> so I had just finished dinner a little while ago. Um, I ate like an absolute pig because I was so hungry and I just ended up with like blue cheese sauce all over my face. So what I've done is I've removed all my makeup except for my eye area. So sorry for looking even more ugly. <laughs> it's just gonna get worse as this goes on. Uh, my tongue is already turning blue. Now it is dessert time and I have the berry blue jelly that we prepared earlier. You know what I've decided? That nothing that is blue has a good texture. Blueberries, dry, flavorless. Blueberry yogurt, sloppy. Jelly, same texture. This is really hanging in there. Anyway, um, I will see you guys in the morning. Hmm. Morning guys, so it is hour 22 and that leaves just enough time for breakfast. For breakfast we are doing blueberry pancakes. At this point, if they don't go blue by themselves, I am adding food dye. I am tired and my body is hating me. Um, I generally stick to a pretty healthy diet throughout the whole week and now it seems like every Monday I have to ruin it for these videos. Anyway, let's get to the cooking. So it is pancake time. Um, sorry about this, told you it's only going to get worse. So one metric ton of blue food dye later and a lot of mixing and we have our blue batter. So look at that finished product. And that is my blue blueberry pancake stack with blueberry yogurts and fresh blueberries. So I'm just gonna give you guys a cross section now. Those blueberries are such like a deep blue throughout the mixture. I am so excited to eat this now. And then this challenge is finally over. Hmm. Actually, they're way better than I thought they would be. You actually can taste the blueberry in there, even though it didn't affect the color at all. So thanks for joining me again today, guys. I have completed my 24 hour challenge. Let me know in the comments down below if I should do this again, and if so, what colour next. 
If I ever see a blueberry again, it will be too soon. See you guys, bye. fake artificial food diet as well. Thank you Pandora for walking through my shop. Don't you dare, she's about to knock over the strawberry clouds. Why do I keep calling them strawberry? Pandy. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen.